Simone, thank you so much for joining. I'm super excited to get to know you. We're gonna jump right in. So you were born in Boston, grew up in Alabama, went to college in Nashville. You lived in a lot of really cool places with a lot of culture. So I wanna know, who's your favorite music artist? I would say J. Cole is definitely one of my favorites. Coldplay has my heart. Coldplay? Oh, I love Coldplay. Okay. And I would say I really like Khalid. Okay, great choices. What's your favorite J. Cole album? Okay, J. Cole doesn't miss though, so like probably all of them, okay. but his K.O.D. album, he was like, he was preaching on that. Okay, I knew I liked you. I'm a big <laughs> J. Cole fan, Born hey. Sinner's my favorite. Oh, quality, <laughs> quality. While you were in college, you won nine national championships between soccer, track, and field. What is the best thing that you took from track and field that helps you when it comes to playing soccer? Well, I think one thing that track taught me was just like, how important the details are and how to pay attention to the details. You know, and I was a triple jumper and so you can win and lose by a centimeter. Mm -hmm. And those little gains make the biggest difference. And I think when you get to the highest level in soccer, it's the exact same. So while you were at Vanderbilt, you were named to the 2019 Vanderbilt SEC Class of Women Legends, which is amazing, congratulations. Who are some women legends in your life? I would definitely say my mom. Like, my mom is amazing. <laughs> She love, just loves unconditionally and is always supportive. She's someone that when I'm struggling, I can always go to her, um, always encourage me, uplift me, or give me a kick in the pants when I need it. <laughs> so is your mom your best friend? Yes. One of those like you okay. call her every day <laughs> type of things or when you can. Yeah. So speaking of women, you recently joined up with the California Black Women's Health Project yeah. to help raise money for that organization during Black History Month. What made you want to partner with them? Yeah. I'd love to hear about that. I just, I love their mission. Like they're dedicated to just um, changing the health disparity in the U.S., especially with, with in the Los Angeles community. And one thing that I really loved is their Sisters Mentally Mobilized programming, which is focused on mental health for black women and girls. And mental health is something I'm so passionate about. And so for them to be working to just, I think it's important just to have that conversation and just make talking about mental health and mental struggles normal. It's just powerful. And so once I saw that, I was like, okay, I gotta figure out how to like support you guys, help you guys, like whatever I can do, I wanna, I wanna do that. So you played with Portland in 2019. I have some strong roots to Portland myself. So hey. I wanna know what were some of your favorite places to eat while you were there? Okay, 4K no. Have you? I've heard of it, have you been there? <gasps> Quality, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Okay, 4K No is top tier. Salt and straw, I feel like is like a classic. A little taboo at this point, you're kind of like, yeah, everybody have salt and straw. Blue Star Donuts. Oh, Deadstock Coffee, did you ever have that? Yes. Okay, <laughs> like, that no, it's so dope because they do like really cool sneaker art in your coffee and like they don't have a menu, you just like roll up and be like, this is what I want. And they're like, all right, bet. So it's like, it's really cool. Okay, so that's your go-to next time you go to Portland. Yes. You get a dead stock coffee. 100%. I love that. <laughs> I went into a deep dive on your Instagram and found that you went scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef <laughs> and you said you are a land man. So what was the best and worst part about that experience? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, they have to like attach a weight on you mm -hmm. um, when you get in the water so that you like sink enough. And I had like underestimated how heavy that was. And so I like let go of the boat and I'm literally just dropping to the bottom of the ocean. So then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like panicking. So then I start swimming like back to the surface and I knock my water piece, like the oxygen out of my mouth. And so then I'm like in full panic mode. Like I don't have my oxygen tank. I'm fighting for my life to get up to the, to the surface of the water. So I literally, I'm like fighting and I like finally make it, but I literally like saw my life flash before my eyes. And I was like, you know what? Scuba diving's not for me. I will stay on land. I guess last question for you then is, which is harder, playing soccer at the highest level or scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef? Definitely scuba diving. <laughs> so at that point, anything's possible now, right? Yes. I love that. That's hilarious. Well, thank you. This has been so much fun. Great getting to know you. Gonna go get a dead stock coffee next time I go to Portland. <laughs>